Item five, consent calendar. All items are considered routine or implement an earlier council action and may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested. Through the chair. Yes, Michael, please. I noticed we had a revision of item 5F on the dais, and I was wondering if we could get an explanation of what changes were made. Okay, we'll pull 5F. If we can actually get an explanation oh. uh, up front, then we can just do them all together. Okay. We don't need to pull it. If we just say, Attorney, are we good with that? Was there any significant? Um, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Explanation of what? We have a, a, a copy of. Uh, 5F, which is the um, the sidewalk. You're missing a page of it. Is that, well, is that, is that the Well, answer? I was just wondering why we got. Uh, it has all this information. The other one didn't Okay. Have all this. So yeah. there was just additional information. Yeah. yeah. So apparently the, um, the the version that you received electronically d was um, inadvertently omitted page two. Okay. And that was on your DS tonight. So it's just the rest of the story. Okay. Um, in a nutshell, the, um, the action requests your authority to enter into a contract for our annual sidewalk repair program. Um, in this case, the uh, apparent low bidder uh, was rejected for a non-responsive bid in that it did not include all of the information that was necessary and didn't demonstrate the um, uh, necessary requirements for award of a contract. Um, as such, we've moved to the second low bidder, which is, which in this case is the actual low bidder. Um, the work to be performed uh, is outlined in the staff report for um, uh, sidewalk offsets that are the city's responsibility uh, within a, a certain range. I'm sorry, I'm not remembering precisely. Um, but it's, it's, this is a continuation of a program that has been in effect annually for a number of years and that has provided uh, the opportunity for the city at least to uh, begin to make a dent in those locations that the code vests under the city's responsibility to minimize and eliminate hazards. Okay. And then also there is an item on the consent, item G, just for information, it's a letter of opposing uh, Senate Bill 827 regarding the planning and zoning transit rich housing projects. Uh, that's a bill that Scott Weiner has introduced and that the position is uh, asking council for an authorization for a letter to oppose that bill. Any action on consent? Move to approve. Is there a second? Second. Mm, that was quick. All so those in favor say aye. 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 Those no ayes have it.